Remember to check out my first video on a bunch of Spongebob fan games and hacks. I covered some pretty fun stuff in that video, from the Simpsons Hit and Run Bikini Bottom mod to a Five Nights at Freddy's clone. So check it out if you haven't. Anyway, on with the video. What? Why am I shaking? Can it be? <laughs> it can't be. I said those days were behind me. Game Jolt hasn't even updated anything in ages. There's nothing new. Has the SpongeBob fanbase finally deserted me? In my time of need. <laughs> there are no new fan games. None. Hello? Hello? Damn it. I don't want this! Hey everyone, it's me, your boy, Chester, back out with some more SpongeBob fan games. I wasn't joking before when I said that there really isn't anything uh, noteworthy on Game Jolt in the way of SpongeBob fan games. Anything that worked, that is. Outside of this game, of course, another in the long line of FNAF ripoffs. Hello? Hello? Excuse me? Oh my god! Good sir, I've been trying I'm to trying contact to. You for days. Can you Where please. Where are you? <sighs> He stopped. Well, oh, come on! So yeah, it's another FNAF ripoff. There is very little of note here except of uh, the, the particle effects, of course. Also, yes, that is SpongeBob. Uh, clearly based off the Larry's Gym episode, I see. Hmm. Very good. Uh, moving on. Well, if Game Jolt's failed me, then what else is there? Well, Scratch, of course. The premier place to get all the best made games, created with so much love and care. Easily accessible, yet so deep and useful. A truly wonderful... Okay, we might need to figure out something else. Oh, I love this song. Make a beeline for the tree line. Getting back to nature always does me good. Make a beeline for the tree line. I just can't wait to get back in the woods. And when I need to close my eyes and dream beside a quiet mountain stream, that's when I make a beeline for the tree line. I've got it! Flash games! Ah, flash games. What a... Yes. Now, flash games are about as mixed of a bag as you can get. There are some gems out there, but for the most part you either have broken games, like this basketball game where it starts out fine, but before you know it the ball is moving too quick for the game to keep up and it starts to lag. And whoops, you lost it. Then you've got... a ball game. So creative, guys. Then I played one of these shooting slash flying games, which let me tell you, changes a man. Some of these games do have a large amount of polish. If it didn't lag so much, I would not be surprised to find that basketball game on the official Nickelodeon games page. But there has to be something, something halfway decent. All of these games and nothing good. Like, look at all this rubbish. SpongeBob Saw game? Wow, that's gonna be bad. Oh boy, was I wrong. And on that day, it was said that the sky would crack open, and from it came SpongeBob Saw game. It was the first and last of its kind, a truly extraordinary flash game that left all others in the dirt. Who could have possibly guessed a game called SpongeBob Saw game could ever be good? But it is. It's a bit of a surprise. I was expecting some terrible horror game, but nope. Well, let's get started. So we start off with SpongeBob and Gary going to sleep. After a rather janky cutscene, he's gone. And there's the big boy himself, Jigsaw. Ah, what a wonderful children's character. The first thing that really hit me was how legitimately funny this game is. 
Like, yeah, sure, it can be janky at times and pretty weird, but it's got a great sense of humour that immediately made me sit up and think, hey, this might not be awful. And the next big surprise is that this isn't some awful Mario 2D platformer clone. It's a point and click adventure game. Where you explore a bunch of locations, finding items and using them to discover more stuff and advance the stories. It's pretty simple point and click stuff. You find an item, someone wants something from you. You can't get it till you get another item from someone else who needs something from someone else. So on and so forth. Now this game really doesn't hold a candle to games like Employee of the Month. A personal favourite of mine to be sure. But that's not really the point. Can I just point out, everything else looks like this. Incredibly simple games you play for five minutes that are built around a single mechanic and then you have this, which legitimately took me 30 minutes to finish. Stumped me several times with fairly decent animation and great comedy. Sadly, it doesn't have very much world interaction, but then again, this isn't a Freddy Fish game or anything like that. It's a Flash game. And it's not an easy one at that. A lot of the difficulty comes from the often difficult selection tool. Sometimes to click on something, you have to click on the exact right part, which means you leave a room thinking there is nothing to find there and you've missed an important item. This is one of the major annoyances that I ran into. Also, some stuff can only be completed in very strict patterns, like getting energy from the jellyfish. It was very annoying, to say the least. But for the most part, this was a hugely surprising find that I absolutely loved playing. You could probably smash through it in 15 minutes, but if you're like me, it might take you closer to 40. But it's well worth the time. I'll leave a link in the description for you to check it out. Well, I hope you enjoyed that video and had some great fun with that game. I hope I didn't spoil too many of the answers to any of the puzzles and that type of stuff. If you would like to see more stuff like this, subscribe and like this video so I know people are enjoying it, and I'll be sure to make more. Well, thank you very much for watching. Bye-bye. Make a beeline. Getting back to nature always does me good I'll make a beeline